Born of missionary parents Tom and Stella Evans, Andrew Evans was destined to be greatly used of God. His parents, especially his mother, had great expectations, even as early as conception. When Stella named him Andrew, she, we prayed, and uh, right after his conception, she said, if he's going to be a boy, I'm going to name him Andrew because I want him to be a soul winner. She said, I don't care if, I don't want him to be clever. I just want him to be a soul winner, to bring souls to Jesus. At a young age, Andrew, together with new wife Lorraine, followed in Tom and Stella's footsteps, serving as missionaries overseas. Seven years passed and the Evanses, now a family of four, were to return home due to Lorraine's ill health. This is when Andrew was to begin many years of ministry with Clemsig AOG, now known as Paradise Community Church. The years that followed saw great blessing as Andrew faithfully sought God for keys to church growth, which he successfully applied. Today, the church Andrew pastors is seen as a model of success as it has prospered under his exceptional leadership. One of the most qualified people to comment on his unique leadership style would have to be Pastor Paul Newsham, who has worked alongside Andrew for over 20 years. Very good to work for. He's a gentle leader. Um, very, very quick mind in the sense of um, it doesn't matter what area of the church, whether it be business or pastoral or administrative comes up, he can think his way through. He has an ability to, to, to hack right through problems and get to the core of the thing very quickly. Uh, he's simplistic in the sense that um, whatever you've got to do, he can boil it down to a couple of minutes work rather than the hours that it would take you normally. It's a new day. Welcome to It's a New Day. It's good to come into your home and share with you some good news. Andrew has always seized new opportunities to evangelise and for several years appeared weekly on television, of course promoting the love of the Lord Jesus. It was at about this time that he became the General Superintendent of the Assemblies of God, representing the movement for the entire country. There had not been significant growth in the Assemblies of God for some time and the time of Andrew's appointment is now seen as a turning point in the movement. His peers recall the significance of this event. The feeling amongst the ministers in relation to Andrew being elected as general superintendent was mixed because there was basically a dichotomy of uh, groups that were for and groups that were against. But because of Andrew's great style in his ministry and his, his peacemaker heart and his attitude towards pulling people on side, within the space of that first two year period, he won almost unanimous endorsement for his leadership. Andrew was always respected because what he was is what he preached and what he shared. I think that when it came to his accepting the positions the general superintendent was as much as a surprise to him as anyone else, but it was one of those things we can look back with hindsight now and know was definitely one of those sovereign appointments in the will of God. Andrew Evans has been perhaps our most successful general superintendent, many other good men, but there was a special grace of God upon him. He healed a fractured movement right at the start in 1977, and that grace of God has continued upon him in wise leadership ever since. When he was appointed general superintendent, Cho was the speaker for that conference. Cho's message was one of inspiration in the area of faith and church growth. And many of those principles Andrew had been discovering personally in his own life. And I do believe that Cho was able to expand many of those principles by his own personal vision. And Andrew was very easily able to take that on board his own life and ministry. This idea of inspiring the leaders to see church growth obviously worked, as we've seen the numbers greatly increase over the last 20 years. However, possibly the greatest example of sustained growth would be Andrew's own fellowship at Paradise. The move to the current location was an enormous leap of faith taken by the Clemsig Board of Directors. This outstanding ability to lead by example is clearly a contributing factor to the success of the entire movement over recent years. Probably the biggest impact on you though is his example. He, he trains by example. And when you watch the way the man lives and works, if you do those things, it, 
it works for you. And I don't know how many of the past staff of our church have said to me, I get into a situation and the first thing I think is, what would Andrew do? To me, that answers the question. With the responsibilities of General Superintendent, Andrew has often faced challenges. As a man of prayer, he would always seek God's will, considering everyone's perspective, particularly when seeking to resolve opposing points of view. Andrew always brought us back to biblical principles. What does God's word say? And he also illustrated many times from church history and from his own experience how God had moved. One of the things he did continually was to say that God was always the God of the unexpected and we mustn't put God into a box. I think that was one of his greatest secrets, to keep us with an open mind and an open heart to what God could do. This is the air I breathe This is the air I breathe It's your holy presence You're living 